to show you some of the cool systems we've designed for our own offices. Things to make watching TV fun, listening to music, good experience, and save a lot of energy too. Now I'd like to turn this project over to someone who helped design the system, our chief programmer, Stephen Pinsky. Hi, I'm Stephen. I'm going to just take you through a few of the things that we've set up for the system here, uh, beginning with the television. This is the Savant app running on an Apple iPad. And you can see here it's pretty easy to use. We've got our uh, options here along the top, so I can press watch. And then I'll select our movie server, which is the Kaleidoscape system. The Kaleidoscape is a great system because uh, they digitize all the DVDs rather than trying to store them in a carousel. So the access is almost instantaneous. And they also do some customization where they trim all the trailers and menus and the other junk that you're used to seeing before your movie starts away. And if we just select a film here and hit play movie, you should see that it just starts right up. And then we're right to the opening credits. And now we'll have a little demonstration of 3D TV. Jellyfish. Look at that sunfish. Wow. The molars don't come here for food. This is they really come great. here to be cleaned by half moon perch. Welcome to the back office. Uh, this is where we keep the rack of equipment that drove the demonstration you just saw on the TV. Now this rack is sort of a, a test bench and a laboratory for us, so we decided to keep it fairly accessible. This is the surround receiver. So this piece drives all the speakers that are in the conference room, uh, as well as sending the video to the TV. This component is the Kaleidoscape system that you've heard about already. It's a movie library. Um, this unit is the server. This is actually where you would load your discs, and it's as simple as just opening up the tray, dropping a movie in, and it'll just automatically be encoded and show up in your menu. This is the player, and you might have one of these for every TV in your house if you went that way. Over on this side, we've got the Sony 3D Blu-ray player. Also the Savant control system that uh, enables the iPad to do all the control that we showed. Down here are some amplifiers that drive the subwoofer in the main conference room. And this is the little Control 4 system that uh, in this case we're using for some building automation. Now it would be possible to do all that through Savant, but uh, in this case we went with sort of a hybrid system just so that we can show both. Now I'm going to tell you a little bit about the Savant Blueprint software that I used to design the system that you just saw. There are a lot of connections between these blocks and each block represents a device that's part of the system. So this is the main Savant processor and then we sort of go left to right with our source devices Here's the interface where I set up the iPad pages. You can see each individual button has a little object associated with it and it's all editable so I can actually make a very tightly customized interface for our customers. Here's an example of a, uh, a page. This is for the Kaleidoscape movie server. So we've got cursor buttons and each of these is an object uh, that I can change or move as needed for the customer's wants and requirements. So this is the control for my home PC application. Uh, it runs on Mac and Windows. And this is something that uh, I use as a diagnostic tool as a programmer, but it's also a control option that our clients can choose for their home offices or their laptop. Just right by my desk here, you'll see the shade. And I'm going to press this up button, and you'll see that the shade will raise. We've got a few other options to control the same device there. I programmed this yellow button on the remote so that it always controls the shades and uh, it tracks their current status so it, it knows if they're up or down and will issue the appropriate command. So I'll press that once. One more option for uh, control from via Control 4 system is another iPad app. 
And we've got wall mounts also for the iPad that will allow it to be a permanent fixture in the house if you just want to have a, a fixed control station. And again, we've got the up and down buttons for the shades. I'll press up there. And there they go back up again. One more interesting feature of the Control 4 system is its ability to integrate with security systems. So here we have a view surveying the parking lot, but this is a pan tilt zoom camera, which means that we have uh, the ability to set presets so that we can take a closer look at what's happening right at the front door. Or we can look over at the gate to see who's coming in or to see if it's been left open. And we also have a view right at the door of the warehouse where the camera is mounted. Our fountain here used to run 24 hours a day. It just had a pump hardwired to the mains. But uh, we've added a control for another control for switch that allows us to control it. And initially we just had it running during business hours. Uh, we thought that you know, 9 to 5 when we have people and, and clients coming would be enough. But we found that that created an algae issue. Um, so we wanted to be green but not that kind of green. And we uh, decided to try instead running it on the astronomical clock. So it now comes on at dawn and switches off at sunset. And that seems to have cleared up the algae problem while allowing us to save some energy. And here's another example of our uh, energy saving automation. You can see that the lights in this room are flashing. That's because I left the door open when we went outside. And uh, today the air conditioner is running. It's a warm day. And if this door is left open for more than 30 seconds, the Control 4 system will notice it via a sensor and start to flash the lights to remind us to close the door. The last thing I'd like to demonstrate for you is our uh, Control 4 door lock system. This is a keypad lock. So uh, we have a pin number that we punch in when we want to unlock in the morning. That means I get to leave my keys at home when I ride, or I leave my keys here when I ride my bike. And uh, then this lock button locks it up and also automatically turns off the lights, turns off the thermostat, and uh, lowers the shades. So I'll demonstrate that for you now and uh, say goodbye. Thanks for watching.